we know the biodiversity and eco uh, system services are being adversely affected due to changing scenario in the world primarily due to anthropogenic activities and many species are heading towards extinction the biodiversity loss has severely affected the ecosystem uh, health and livelihood of people the earth is undergoing a mass uh, extinction and many species may go extinct without being identified or named the conference will address the limitations in the diagnosis of new species and biological communities world's biodiversity hotspots are burdened by hunger inequality and climate crisis which need urgent attention and i'm sure uh, that this conference will definitely address to all these uh, you know issues uh, and i'm sure that uh, in this particular conference the ngos the institutes of higher learning and other stakeholders will also be taken on board and uh, you know i am very confident uh, seeing the legacy of department of zoology one of the premier institute and one of the excellent institutes of uh, departments of our uh, university of kashmir which has its own uh, credibility in research has its own credibility in uh, academics it has produced so many you know laurels and uh, you know all the pass outs are working at very important uh, you know positions not only the, in the government but also in the private sector in the corporates uh, and having their own uh, you know some of the other source of livelihood uh, so in this context i really congratulate department of zoology for organizing this three day uh, international conference on monitoring biodiversity for uh, action uh, and uh, you know i do look forward to have some definite uh, recommendations which are workable on which we can uh, you know work which will have linkages with different you know setups linkage we have our honorable speaker from nepal let's see how we can have connectivity with his university where we can work together not only at the uh, you know national level but also at the international level how uh, you know if they have any uh, you know good practice how we can you know include that if we have any good practice how it can be shared with them so i would definitely try to look uh, into these uh, you know aspects Uh, and without addressing the issues and concerns of the biodiversity the all round development of the society is not possible theme of the conference is targeted towards sustainable development goals of united nations and shall focus on challenges resource management behavioral solutions and inspiring and educating people to adopt sustainable behavior this Uh, you know point is very important and i am sure that definitely some workable uh, you know uh, sessions will be done on this and i am sure that uh, present conference will serve as a platform for all the stakeholders to deliberate upon the important approaches uh, of managing sustainable uh, development and uh, how the future generations can be involved how they can be made aware and uh, how uh, seriously they can work on the various issues the conference will incorporate all aspects of biodiversity and integrative approach is the need of the hour as i earlier said to manage global biodiversity and promote sustainable livelihood of the people in view of the changing world scenario and uh considering its vital role in supporting ecosystem providing ecosystem services and promoting human well being uh university of kashmir is committed you know uh in all aspects wherever it has to play its role will definitely pl uh, play it whether it's the connectivity with, with our uh, jnk government whether it's connectivity at the national level with other institutes or its collective uh, its connectivity at the global level i really congratulate engineer 
Rashid for an uh, excellent, uh, you know, work that he has done on this particular bird watching, uh, you know, picture. He does work on uh, various uh, climatic issues and uh, I really congratulate him for his, uh, you know, interest on uh, various issues and uh, I do look forward how our students can be, you know, involved in this and uh, for that, uh, you know, whatever is to be done, just put up a proposal with the uh, any department, you know, how we can involve, I want that our students should be involved, let me know how we can involve our students with these words. Hope all our delegates who have come from other parts of our country are uh, comfortable. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, uh, it's wonderful to have all of you here. This is how uh, our university will be connected uh, with you and whatever good practices you have in your own institutions will definitely adopt it. I once again congratulate the Department of uh, Zoology, all its uh, faculty, all its teaching and non-teaching faculty, the coordinator uh, for organizing this wonderful conference. According to UN Environment Program, in 2010, the world came together to take stock of the progress made to arrest biodiversity loss. Unfortunately, it was clear that there was not much good news to report. In response, a new set of sustainable biodiversity targets called the Aichi targets were established giving us 10 years to make progress on reducing biodiversity loss. Regretfully, most of the targets were not met. Nevertheless, what often feels like an avalanche of bad news on the environment, there is a silver lining. That is, the future is entirely in our hands. And so there is no more important a moment for us than to discuss nature and biodiversity. Because what we do or what we do, don't do will determine the fate of our planet. This is critical juncture for the human species and more people are aware than ever before that a crisis in the natural world is crisis for humanity. We must emphasize nature-based solutions by investing in nature's infrastructure, such as the coral reefs, the mangroves, the forests, the wetlands, the pollinators, and other biotic species. These ingredients are essential for planetary security, biodiversity conservation, combating desertification, and land degradation and of course, in the struggle against climate change. According to the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, unless we take drastic action, we are, not, we are going to lose one million out of nearly eight million species on Earth. We must understand that we are in crisis. We are in an emergency as Greta Thunberg, a Swedish environmentalist activist, has pointed out that humanity is facing an existential crisis due to climate change. She aptly says, we should act as if our house is on fire, because it is. In 2015, UN adopted Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, to improve the lives of people and by bringing together governments, NGOs, institutes of higher learning and other stakeholders. Against this backdrop, the proposed theme of the conference is targeted towards these sustainable developmental goals of United Nations. And University of Kashmir has taken many initiatives in realizing these goals. Well, the Department of Zoology, University of Kashmir, has also taken a lead on multiple fronts, 
since its establishment in 1961. Our department has conducted a number of conferences, symposia, workshops, seminars, extension lectures, and debates of social, societal importance. This is evident from the fact that more than 1,500 research papers, 15 books, and monographs have been published in reputed and high impact factor journals. Apart from this, the department has completed around 40 research projects sanctioned and financed by the Department of Science and Technology, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, University Grants Commission, Indian Council of Agricultural Research, and JNK State Council for Science and Technology. To date, 170 MPhil scholars and 130 PhD degrees have been successfully awarded to the students. In the last few years, the department has been successful in mobilizing around 5 crore rupees from national and state funding agencies. Our faculty members have also worked and presented their research findings at international platforms. To mention few like in USA, Germany, Hungary, Argentina, and Thailand. Our key research areas include molecular biology, taxonomy, general and experimental parasitology, immunology, fish biology, aquaculture, agricultural and applied entomology, wildlife ecology, and laminology. As we all know that the subject of biodiversity is very important. And I am sure that we have a very good number of scholars in the zoology department who are pursuing research related to the biodiversity. Mr. Bhagat sir, for your information and also for the information of all the participants who have come here, the Department of Zoology is one of the best departments in the University of Kashmir. We have a series of scholars, I could say that a very good number of scholars, and particularly this department, uh, we always get very good qualified GRFs and the net qualified candidates from this department. This department has been doing tremendous, very well, right from its inception. And this department has produced a very good alumni. We have presently in the government, in fact, the bureaucrats. This department has produced very good scientists very good police officers, very good officials, very good industrialists from this department. The title of the conference is very important as far as the present challenges in the biodiversity is concerned. I am sure that the experts who have gathered here will definitely have very good discussions on the theme. And the participants both from inside as well as from outside, will get benefited by all these technical sessions. I wish best of luck and welcome all the participants and hope that you will have a very good stay in the university. I could feel that this department has been very busy for the last several months while preparing this conference because when I took over as a registrar, before four months, uh, the first paper I could receive from the department was to hold this international conference. So, you, the department has, prepare, has been very busy in preparing, making preparations for this conference and I am hopeful that the output of this, all these technical sessions will definitely have a good uh, kind of the, the, the program. I am sure that the proceedings of this conference will be helpful for the biodiversity researchers and hope that the latest research, the latest trends in the biodiversity, which is related with the research of the biodiversity, will be helpful. Biodiversity, the variety of life on Earth. It is essential to the stability and health of our ecosystem. It underpins ecosystem services that are vital for human survival. 
such as clean air, water, food, and medicine. Yet, despite its crucial importance, biodiversity is facing unprecedented threats. Habitat destruction, climate change, pollution, and overexploitation are driving species to extinction at an alarming rate. In this context, the theme of our conference, Monitoring Biodiversity for Action, is both timely and imperative. Monitoring is the cornerstone of effective conservation strategy. It provides the data needed to understand the status and trends of a species and ecosystem to identify threats and to evaluate the effectiveness of conservation's action. Through robust monitoring, we can move beyond merely documenting declines and begin to implement a strategy that foster recovery and resilience. Monitoring biodiversity involves the systematic collection and analysis of data on the various components of biodiversity, including gene species, ecosystem, and establishing baseline data, which is crucial for understanding the current state of the biodiversity. Effective monitoring helps identify the drivers of biodiversity loss such as habitat fragmentation, climate change, invasive species, and pollution. By pinpointing these threats, we can develop targeted interventions to mitigate their impact. Conservation strategies can be tailored to address the species needs of the different ecosystem and species. Reliable data from the biodiversity monitoring informs policymakers and guides the development of legislation and regulation aimed at protecting biodiversity. It ensures that policies are based on sound scientific evidence and enhancing their effectiveness and sustainability. In recent years, innovation in technology have revolutionized our ability to collect and analyze data. Satellite imaginary drones and GIS provide comprehensive data on land use changes, habitat extent, and ecosystem health. These tools allow for large-scale monitoring and the identification of critical habitats. Similarly, advances in sensor technology and artificial intelligence have led to the development of automated monitoring system. Biodiversity conservation is an ongoing process that requires adaptive management and engaging local communities in conservation efforts, which is vital and community-based. Monitoring empowers local stakeholders to take ownership of biodiversity conservation and leading to more sustainable outcomes. It does not recognize political boundaries. International collaboration is essential for addressing transboundary conservation challenges. Sharing data, resources, and expertise enhances our collective ability to protect global biodiversity as we embark on the journey of discovery and learning. I encourage each of you to actively engage in discussion, share your insight, and build a new partnership. Let us use this op opportunity to inspire one another to challenge existing paradigm and to forge a path forward that is rooted in science, sustainability, and equity. pressing biodiversity issues such as climate change impacts, habitat loss, overexploitation, and biological invasions in a post-changing global landscape. The theme is timely, emphasizing the significance of monitoring biodiversity in order to initiate conservation action. We understand that biodiversity has enormous values, including ecological, economic, cultural, 
scientific and ethical components. The health and sustainability of our environment and planet depend on protecting and promoting biodiversity. Regular monitoring provides us with consistent information on the status of biodiversity, especially vulnerable flora and fauna, enabling us to take timely conservation action. Monitoring is an excellent method for evaluating the distribution, abundance and trends of biodiversity. It is a technique for identifying priority conservation areas, assessing ecosystem service and health, and determining how human caused threats affect biodiversity. Presently, standard monitoring techniques such as camera trapping, remote sensing and GIS, environmental DNA, and other non-invasive genetic techniques are used to study the biodiversity. But there is no substitute for field surveys if conducted scientifically because field surveys provide us with first-hand information on the status of biodiversity. The scientifically robust methods can be used to collect data for informed decision-making and policy development. Though there are obviously funding and other constraints, we need collaborative research to address these concerns and assure long-term progress. In this perspective, this conference is important since it brings together professionals and researchers from various institutions with diverse backgrounds. I would like to inform Honorable Vice Chancellor that we have a technical session on challenges for biodiversity conservation, where biological invasions and impact of climate change on the biodiversity and other threats will be deliberated upon. I would like to inform Honorable Vice Chancellor and other dignitaries that we received around 200 abstracts from India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, China, Saudi Arabia, and US. Out of each, 154 were accepted under seven technical sessions of the conference, biodiversity survey and diagnosis, gaps in biodiversity research and sustainability, urban biodiversity, challenges for biodiversity conservation, biodiversity conservation and ecosystem services, biodiversity and health, and technology in biodiversity conservation.